Hey guys, Dead by Dawn 3 here, back to do another DVD update, and the movies I'm going to be updating are actually um, these two uh, new uh, box sets that I actually picked up down at uh, my local 7-Eleven. And it was really cool to walk in and see these two sets sitting there, because like, I never find anything cool at 7-Eleven, and you don't really, you don't really picture to find like, really cool movies at 7-Eleven, you know? Like, you might find like a cool Blu-ray or a cool DVD for like 10 bucks or whatever, but I've never seen... 7-Eleven sell stuff like this. They had a whole row of them. Some of them uh, of uh, DVD box sets. Some of them were decent. Some of them were, you know, okay. But uh, these were the two that I really picked up. Um, the two boxes I'm going to show off are actually from my uh, uh, very great company, Full Moon Pictures, who, as you guys might know, is uh, behind the Puppet Master movies, Demonic Toys, Doll Man, uh, Prehysteria, you know, and one of those, uh, just one of those uh, really cool companies. But, um, they released these two box sets, and uh, you know it's really cool. What another cool thing is I actually got both these sets for only ten bucks, so that was really cool considering the fact they're out of print. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and show them off. The first one is the uh, subspecies series. Never seen any one of these movies, but I've heard lots of stuff about them. I've heard that you know they're big full moon films. Uh, a lot of people have seen them, so I want to go ahead and check them out. And the other one is the uh, Devil Doll set. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the uh, subspecies set. Here's the front. Sorry if it's a little bit dark, but, uh, yeah, right there, yeah, I love that artwork right there, of just Alita, a vampire, like I said, I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know his name or anything, I got the bats and everything, and Subspecies, the trilogy collection, here's all three of the films on the side, with the original artwork, it's the full moon logo right there, here's the back, with all the information on the three movies, then I'm going to go ahead and pull off, take all three of them out, show you. First one is, of course, uh, the original one, which has, uh, I don't know if you can see it, has awesome cover artwork. As you can see, I love that artwork. I love drawn on cover art. That's one of my favorite things. I'd much rather see a cool, you know, uh, drawing of a cover than uh, the actual, than, uh, you know, an actual picture. But, you know, there's the uh, house and there's, of course, the uh, lead vampire. And then um, there's the girl being held up by all these small men, which is really cool. The only thing I don't like it is that I don't like that it says that it has this uh, border around it and it says subspecies, the epic collection at the bottom. I'd much rather prefer it if this was just a full cover art. Like it has like, like on the side of the box, see if I was just a full cover. I really wish that this was just, you know, the whole cover. I thought it would have looked a lot better. You know, and each of them say subspecies, the epic collection, and then they say the actual movie. And on the back, no, you know, uh, no pictures or anything, just a small little thing. But one funny thing is that it says a MPA, it says a MA15 on the bottom for a rating. So these are not like, these are not American releases, but they're region free. And then there's a disc. I'm not going to show all three of the discs off because they're pretty much the same. But yeah, uh, not so much about the cover art, but still just having all three movies is really cool. Here's the second one, Bloodstone Subspecies 2, other cool artwork. Like I said, the discs look the same, and Bloodlust Subspecies 3, which is, like I said, really great artwork. You know, the back and everything is all the same, so. Um, I do know that there is a Subspecies 4, I think it's called a Bloodstorm, which, um, I wish they'd release a new box that had all four films, but for now, this is, you know, a cool set to have. So anyway, guys, that was the uh, subspecies box set, and I'm going to move on to the uh, Devil Dolls set. Right here is the front of the box set, which is really, really weird artwork of all three of the uh, dolls sort of together with the arms. There's one on the side, all three of the films, and on the back. I'm going to go ahead and pull them off. The, now, one thing is uh, one thing I do like is that this actually has full artwork on all three of them, unlike the subspecies set. But the first one is uh, Demonic Toys, and this is the one that everybody told This is one of the big full moon films, and I surprisingly have not seen this movie before, which I, you know, I'm, I'm, it's hard to say, but I'm, I really love this cover art. It reminds me a lot of the VHS cover, like when I go into movie stores and they always had this movie up for rent, they always had this cover to draw on with the clown and the baby and the demented teddy bear yeah but like I said like next to Puppet Master Demonic Toys is probably the 
one of the most popular full moon creations. And even it, it has uh, photos on the back. They want to play with you. And this one even does have a special feature. It's just got a full, uh, behind the scenes featurette and uh, full moon trailers. It's really nice. At least they included uh, something cool. I wish that they would include a uh, full moon video zones, um, which are like short documentary behind the scenes stuff that were at the end of each uh, of all full moon VHSs. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, they were on the uh, at the end of all the Pubmaster VHS and stuff. So I'm hoping that that, that it's on here. But uh, you know, and this. <clears throat> There's the artwork. So like I said, um, guys, I'm really cool to have this. I know that uh, there is another box set that has the Demonic Toys and Dollman movies, but that's also out of print, and so something tells me that this is even more out of print than that set. Alright. Next one, never heard of this one, but Dog Graveyard. This one looks pretty cheesy, but, you know, I'll just check it out. And the last one is the one that I actually saw, that I actually saw a preview of. That looks that I actually thought looked kind of cool. It's Ragdoll, um, Magic of the Killing kind. Like I said, I've heard about this movie and it looks decent, so I might check. So I'll probably check this one. You know what? I'll actually I might actually do a review. I'm probably planning on doing a review for this one and maybe some of the blood of the subspecies movies. But you know, who knows? I'll pick it up. But anyway, guys, those were those two. Uh, the two. Um, Full Moon Pictures box sets that I just recently picked up. I'm really glad to have them because I know that I don't normally see them very well. I've seen the subspecies set, but I've not seen the Devil Doll set anywhere. And just having these is really cool. I don't know if they're like rare or out of print or anything, but you know, I, I just don't normally see them a lot. But you know, there you go. And the last thing, this is just something I picked up at Walmart for five bucks. It's Deliverance. Um, I've heard a lot of people talk about this movie, and I've never seen it, and I've I've heard good you know good things about it, so I thought I'd go ahead and pick it up. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this uh, quick DVD update. Um, I'll be sure to be doing reviews for some of these movies in the future. But um, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I will see you guys later.